Problem solving, choose the operation, lesson 2.13. We can write a number sentence to help us solve a word problem. We need to circle the important numbers and find the clue words that tell us which operation we need to use. The clue words will help us to decide if we need to add or subtract. Now there's many clue words, but here's just some of them. For addition or adding, if we see more in all, altogether, some, total, both, or plus, those are some of the words that tell us we need to do addition, we need to add. And if we see words like less, left, difference, take away, fewer, how many more, remove, or minus, then that's going to tell us we need to subtract. Now, there's a lot more clue words than this, but these are just some of them that are used a lot, okay? So let's see if we can figure out which clue words and operations we need to do. Bob read nine pages of a storybook. Then after lunch, he read six more. How many pages did Bob read in all? So our clue words are more and in all. It says he read more, and then it says in all. Well, those are clue words for addition, so we, we're going to need to add. And our important numbers are 9 and 6. So we need to add 9 and 6. 9 plus 6 equals 15, and it asked us how many pages did Bob read, so we write 15 pages, so we can label our answer. Let's try this one. Two ducks went to a pond. Nine more ducks joined them. How many ducks went to the pond? Our clue words are more and joined them. It says nine more ducks, and it says they joined them. Well, when you join something, you're adding to it. So we're going to do addition. We're going to circle our important numbers, two and nine. We're going to add them. Two plus nine is 11, and we label it as ducks. It's 11 ducks. Let's try another one. We have eight dogs are asleep. Three wake up. How many are still asleep? Our clue words are wake up and how many are still. So it says that eight were asleep, but three wake up. This is a subtraction sentence. We need to subtract the 3 that woke up from the 8. So we do 8 minus 3 equals 5 dogs asleep. See, it told us we needed to find the ones that were still asleep. Let's try this one. Four monkeys eat bananas, nine monkeys eat grapes. How many more are eating grapes than bananas? Well. We circle important numbers and look for our clue words. Our clue words are how many more and than. It says how many more are eating grapes than bananas. So we need to find the difference between grapes and bananas. Well, four were bananas and nine were grapes. We need to find the difference between these two numbers. And the bigger number is the minuend. That's going to go first. 9 minus 4 equals 5. And five more monkeys are eating grapes than bananas. Let's try this one. Emma has 14 cookies in a box. She gives 6 to Tala and 5 to Bob. How many cookies are left in the box? Now there's a couple ways we can solve this. We circle our important numbers, the 14, the 6, and the 5. We look for clue words. When we know she had 14, she gives 6 to Tala, right? So that should be a clue word. And 5 to Bob. How many cookies are left? How many are left? So left is a good clue word. 
That means we have to find how many are left over, right? So we can either do two subtraction sentences. We take the 14 cookies and we subtract the six that she gave to Tala. Now she's got eight left. Then we subtract five from that eight to find out she's got three cookies left. Now there's another way to solve this. We can add the cookies that she gave away, the five plus the six, six plus the five, and get an 11. And then we can subtract the 11 from the 14 cookies that were in the box to get three cookies. So we could have added or subtracted, right? It would have been both. It would have been two subtraction, or it would have been an addition and a subtraction. See? Either way, we needed to find out how many were left in the box. All right? So that's how we can choose an operation by using clue words. And there's lots of clue words. But these are the ones that are used the most. All right? See if you can solve some word problems and use clue words to help you. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.